Hi guys, in this video we're going to make Bo Peep's sheep, Billy, Goat and Gruff and this is to go with my cake that I made last week, Bo Peep. I started with, not quite circles, more oval shape cakes now. I have put them in the freezer just for 10 minutes to firm them up so that I could just carve the edges and I've just got a little cake card underneath. It's just a four inch cake card under there. Two layers of cake. I'm just going to put a cut kind of either side of the center and then we're going to cut a tiny bit out either side. So it's like leaving a little dip because they're kind of like three sheep in one. And if you haven't seen the film, I do recommend seeing it. So I'm going to cover it in chocolate ganache. You can use buttercream if you prefer. But because the heads that I'm going to stick on them are quite heavy, I thought ganache would support a little bit better. So get it as smooth as you can. You can pop it in the fridge to let that set. And then once it's set, I'm taking a layer of white fondant and we're just going to put that over the top of the cake. Careful not to get creases in your fondant. So I've kind of pulled all the creases to the underneath and we're going to cut that off. Now I should have really rolled my fondant a little bit thinner than I have on this one. And I'm just pressing in with my fingers just a little bit to enhance the cuts that we put in the cake underneath. And then I'm just running over with a dresden tool. So trying to create little swirls and if you're not sure where they go have a look at an image of the sheep so you can just google an image of these guys so i've done that all the way around and it doesn't matter if your swirls aren't all the same so this is my sheep's face now you can use fondant but i've opted for a modeling paste for the head just so it's a little bit firmer when i work with it and it's like a really pale brown with a tiny tiny touch of orange in there so we've put an eye socket in for each eye using the balling tool and then the nose we've drawn in with our Dresden tool so kind of like a little point with a line down underneath and then just a small piece of paste that we're going to push underneath the bottom of that line to create the mouth and then almost a kind of teardrop shape that we've squashed and then pinched together at the top for an ear so if it's too big you can just tear a little bit off the top of the ear and I'm going to push it on kind of near the sides of the eye sockets two balls for the eyes. This is just fondant I'm using for the eyes, but you can use modeling paste if you prefer. So the eyes are quite big, they stick out quite a lot. And we're just gonna push that onto our cake there. So I've kind of squashed, can you see the top of the head down so that it sticks to my cake? And then we're gonna take a ball of white fondant, squeeze it into more of an oval shape and push it on so it's about the width of the top of the head. Then another little ball, similar kind of size roughly to the eyes. And that's going to go either side of that first white piece we put on. And then we're going to try and get some smaller swirls drawn into there. If the head doesn't hold up, you might have to put a cocktail stick in the head and push it into the cake. But you will need to make people aware of that if you do do that. Okay, so we're going to put a black piece in each eye, just a little black circle. I did try drawing it on with a pen, but my pen started running out. So I've opted for just some black modeling paste. And then I'm going to do the same again with my other sheep. This time I've tried to push kind of a mouth in with my modeling tool. So we're trying something different. And this time when I push it on, I'm trying to put my eye sockets in when it's in place. And the eye sockets have kind of pushed it into the cake as well, holding it on a bit firmer. Now, if it doesn't balance, remember you can put a skewer inside or you can put something under the sheep's face until it's had time to set. So I'm having to be really careful with this now that I don't knock the face off. So the eye sockets, or the eyes even, the eyeballs are going in the same way with our black pupils going on there. And on this one we're going to give it little eyelids. So kind of a circle, so mine was just a ball that I've squashed but you can use a circle cutter if you prefer. I've cut it in half so we'll get two semicircles, And then we're going to pop it onto each eye. So it kind of covers the top of each of those balls. Then we're going to put the white piece on the top put the ears on. I should have really put the ears on first because it's a bit of a tight squeeze getting that in there. And if the pieces don't stick together you can use some water to attach them. And then let's do our third head. So again pushing it on at the top and then we've made the eyes in exactly the same way as well as the nose. So our third head's just made the same and then we're going to add a little bit of colour. So I've got a little bit of pink edible dust. I'll put links below the video to what I've used and where you can get it from. The dust just gone on the nose and inside of the ears and then we're just giving them a little tail. Now I can't actually remember what they look like at the back so I'm going for a rough teardrop slash oval shape. 
and I'm going to use some green paste to stand them on so that they're off the um, surface a little bit so I can give them some little legs. The green on this is actually the same green that I covered my cake board in in last week's video. And I've got some leftover paste from their faces and we're just going to make some little sausage shapes they cut in half for feet. It's a bit of a squash. I should have really done those a little bit neater. And let's add a bit more colour. Now this time I've got a little bit of brown dust that I'm mixing in with the pink. I'm just going to go slightly under the eyes. If you go too much, like I just have done there, you can always just oh, wash that off with a bit of water, like magic. Then just a little bit of brown, but not much in your brush. In fact, I should have really found a thinner brush because this one's painting quite wide lines for me, but that's fine. For this effect, it will be okay. I'm trying to brush it in any cracks and creases, so it looks a little bit more shadowed and shaded. So between each of the sheep, and then I'm putting it in each of the swirls. I'm just going over with a kind of a cream ivory color as well so that they don't look quite as white. And let's just give them a tiny speck of white in each eye. So this is just the cream dust with a bit of um, alcohol or water mixed in. And then I'm using some black edible food color on the feet. And then I'm giving them a spray all over with the edible glaze. Don't do this on your worktops because the edible glaze does stain quite badly. So it's just pushed onto the board like that. Just watch your legs don't fall off when you do that. There they are all finished. And if you want to learn how I made Bo Peep, because she's a little doll cake, um, you can watch last week's video, which is on my YouTube channel. And you can find a link in the description box below for how to make her. And if you've not seen Toy Story 4, I do recommend going over to see it. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.